sorry. So, uh, Mikhail, Mickey or Mikhail Rasmussen, Mikhail, uh, captain of Flipper, and you scored two goals, had two assists and one penalty against you, and Flipper won 5 1. How do you feel about the game? I feel it was a pretty good game. Uh, we knew this game would be probably a little bit tougher than Malmö because it's they just seem to be more uh, at the same type. These players, like Malmö, had some uh, juniors, and they don't have on this team. So it would be you don't feel the difference uh, without there. Yeah, whenever who else is in the water you do, you can't feel the difference here in this team so i feel pretty good about a, a 5 against 1 win yeah it was it was a nice game so when they showed up and they didn't have uh, Maki nordstrom and andreas hergland then you had a feeling that it wasn't going to be too tough uh yeah i don't know about that that uh, that can be really dangerous things like that uh, i saw they were missing some guys but in my mind, I don't care. Uh, they play together a couple of times every week, and they should be good. So, so I don't expect to be that much a difference, actually. They're based on a, a team with a system and playing together, not on individuals who, who make everything happen. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it, now we've completed the first day of the sixth season, and you were one of the first clubs to join the EuroLeague what are your feelings now, looking back now, thinking about this historically? Uh, I think we come a uh, very, very long way. Uh, it's been, everything has been updated, and I think it's uh, really good. It's starting to look professional. Uh, so this is uh, really impressive to to do such much, uh, so much work in such a short time, actually. Yes, um, and we keep improving. So. I think this is going to be good. Give it five more we uh, years, and uh, I think we will see uh, something totally different, maybe on uh, national television. All right, I'm, I'm hoping so. And uh, th the next round is in Vienna. Mm -hmm. Is that the last round? That that's the last round. Next round is in Tampere in Finland. Uh, okay. So, what, do you think you'll be able to ha take a strong team to Tampere? We have to because we're going to play a top three from uh, last season. So we're going to bring the best players. And we need we need nine points for this weekend, this round, uh, to be able to to think it's gonna be fun playing uh, next round because it's gonna be a tough one next next round. That uh, that can decide uh, really much where we're gonna end in the after third round. All right. And the final question: uh, Can you replace Christian Schaefer with his younger brother? Mm. Yes, we we can do that, but I think give him a couple of years, then he will be as Christian, I think. He needs a little bit uh, of size. He's like 20 kilos or 25 kilos lighter, and you can feel that. And he needs to to be a little more confident and take a little bit more responsibility. But he he's a young guy, and he's following... Uh, everyone else and he's doing a quite a good job but he just needs to to grow a little bit up and exercise in in the gym lifting some weights yeah, yeah. well he's captain of the national uh, u21 team so you must be proud of that yeah of course of course and he's doing great in practice he's a, he's a strong guy and he's uh, really smart he plays uh, smart rugby so it's it's not the uh, what you say? It's not, not like a surprise that he's captaining of uh, the U21. I think he's gonna go uh, go do a good job in uh, Sanofi. All right. Thank you very much. Good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Yeah.